Let you try it. Mom, <coughs> not trying. I'm very good. Don't worry. Very soon you're perfect. Mm -mm. Mommy, that's not fair. I'm telling you. You should learn to give me my flowers now that I'm still with you. Because <laughs> when I get married, you'll miss me. I like the fried rice more than the jello fries. <laughs> so tell me, which recipe did you use? Mm, actually, I... Mom, stop flattering her. I'm not enjoying the food. Man, who is talking? <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I didn't use your recipe. I used mine. May I know? I won't tell you. It's a secret. And you should learn to give me my flowers now that I'm still here with you before I get married. <laughs> Don't worry, next time. Do you like the food? I know you. I know beans is your favorite. Don't worry, tomorrow I will make beans, fresh tomatoes and fried potatoes. <laughs> oh. Manage my food, manage. You know, you know your father, you know him with beans. No, you're not trying. He likes beans. Daddy, you're not eating again. Are you okay? <laughs> manage it. <laughs> Dad. 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 The doctor said we should wait for him here. And where is mom? Mom is with him. So why doesn't the doctor want us in? Dio, be calm down. I think the doctor knows what he's doing. Dio, be. You're the son of my right hand. There are things I must tell you before I join my ancestors. Father, you scare me when you speak in this manner. You promised you will never leave in sickness. You said you would join your ancestors in good health. That was what you said to me, Father. I will not die. But you must be there and strong to hold me when I fall. The family business and the people needed to be strong and astute, just like your father. Father, you are strong. You are resilient. You are brave. You are full of wisdom. All my life I walk Every day it was being like you. My son, you will not be like me. You will be your own king. You will reign in this great empire which I have built all my life. But watch out for the insider. His heart is evil. Father, the more I pay attention, the more confused I, 
I get. What do you mean by holding you when you fall? And then, who is the insider? father is not dead. Did anybody tell you he was dead? Where, where is he? He's in his room with his wife and the doctor. I need to see my brother at once. I need to see my brother. No, you can't see him. The doctor said we all should be patient here. We shouldn't come inside, so just do the same. If his wife, your mother, is in there, why wouldn't I be allowed his own brother to, to go there as well? Well, the children can't see him as well, so we just have to do the same. I should have patience. I mean, I don't like the way all of you are just sitting here saying nothing when your father has been locked in his room for more than five hours now and nobody's saying nothing about it. Eh? And nobody knows what is happening there either. What's happening here? Well, Uncle, you just you just have to take a chill pill and try not to be up on the hill. The doctor is in there with my father and my mother, so. In there with the doctor? And the doctor refused us, you know, to see him. For what? If your father is dead, let that doctor just come out point blank and say, Jamal, say my brother is dead. Uncle, then what will... Can you just stop? Why are you talking like this? I'm angry. I hate nonsense. So because you're angry, you're overreacting. Why are you sounding negative? I don't, exactly. I don't I'm overreacting? Yes. I am overreacting over my brother's life. So, so you want me to just keep here and stand like a scarecrow where my brother is over there and we don't know anything. What is happening there? And I don't even trust that you, that quasi doctor. Uncle, oh, please stop overreacting now. What's all this? Stop overreacting. And you, you have been sitting here like a marionette doing nothing and saying nothing. Look, like, like I said before, you just need to take a chill pill, try not to be up on the hill. We are also worried. Mm. Yes. Let me wait a second. Yes. I will go to the hill very soon. Let me stay a second. More. Then you will see me cry to the highest man. I am thinking, please. 
is the meaning of which anger of which it does not exist? What do you mean by his heart is critical? Am I the one that is going to kill my brother? Wait, 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 wait. Please, madam, Chief does not need any disturbance. His health is critical now, please. Excuse me? Am I the one that is going to kill my own brother? You are stopping everyone from, 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 from seeing him and his wife is cooling off there. Stop down. What? I should wait? Uh, doctor, please let him in. The lion himself. The giant of Africa. No, 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 hang up, please. Wait, don't touch him. Only speak, please. Njabanzi, uh, you have to talk to this domestic staff of yours to be scrupulous the way we, he talks uh, with the Ezequiel. He is not a domestic staff. I'm sorry, he's a medical doctor. His name is Dr. Cletus, our family doctor. May I ask that you stay out of this place? With, with please. You see, Chief, that's why I said earlier on, there should be no need for a third party here. Excuse me? Yeah. Now, there was something I was going to tell you, but now I have to have to hang on yeah. until we're alone and in the private. Uh, if that is what the doctor wants, no problem. What do you mean if, 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 if by saying if that is what the doctor wants? This man has succeeded in relegating me to a potential personal non grata and you are aiding him. Me, you call Kunan a third party. Hey! A third party, me? In my own house? There's no something is mine somewhere. Huh? You know what? I think you have ostrich mentality. There you go again! You are nothing but a discordant species. You are a desert of my people. And nothing but an escalator. That's who you are! No, you don't tell me his mouth is critical. You are the one that is critically studied here before my brother is, and created chaos. He's a public he user. He's a public user. This man is it a is public user. Uncle is always overreacting. Look at the way he's shouting. I knew this is what he would do the moment he gets in there. What I don't understand is why he will always raise his voice. Always shouting. Don't worry. Let me end this. Well, this is not fair. I not. know, but what do you want us to do? Beat him. Now, Mr. Man, what exactly are you upset about? You are reducing me twice the size of an ant in my own family by calling me dog party before the very eye of my other brother and his wife, and instead of them to do something about it, they are just watching you like, like, like they are watching a movie, you know, in a cinema, you know, and you are here, you know, having been given a pump action in the spiritual and the emotional realm, and you are now talking to me, talking down on uh, the question. It could be you enough. Know. Is that so? To be insulted and keep quiet. Is that so? No, okay, okay, okay. It's alright. See. Now, Mr. Man, it's it's imperative I let you know that some of these, you know, things are not usually the kind of information meant for our ears. Okay? Are you trying to tell me that Chief permitted you, you know, to keep me hanging there? Isn't for crying out loud, this is Chief's room, not Ikoku's room. We're talking about your brother's health. We are not here to prescribe on frivolities. We are not discussing frivolities here. Not trivials. His health, Chief Njamanze's health. Chief Njamanze's health is the most paramount here. And his health must be jealously and enviously guarded. You are talking complete badness. You are taking me to the highest point of provocation and honestly I will break down and cause earthquake. And it's not only earthquake, I will cause tsunami. I will cause Katrina, the highest quality. And if you don't take time, I will take you to the point of Rubicon. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And I don't want you to stand here like a scarecrow, pointing at my brother, because if you point at my brother again, I am going to dissect that your head and tell you that I also understand what medical doctor is all about. It's not only you, if at all you are a medical doctor, you stand here and deprive me from seeing my blood brother. He is my older brother, and it is nothing you can do about it. If you have to stand here and authorize yourself and command some authority, then
understand it. You should have been there for my mother to give back to you. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Look at his head like a very damangog skull. You're a long skull, of course. That's why you stand here with your half-baked ice glass to tell me nonsense. Fool! Don't get me upset, Mom. So you're silent? Enough! Stop! Um, okay. Um, the blood transfusion will take place as soon as possible. Both Chief and the donors are medically fit for the operation. Uh, 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 doctor, with this your analytical insight, are you saying that my brother is going to be fine? Oh, we believe God for healing, sir. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your timely intervention. I'm very well then, sir. Um, I have to run a long down. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't be excited yet. Uh, what about the other thing you were about to talk about? Chief's children, they are here staring at you. It will be exactly as I said in Chief's room. Uh, uh, Chief's children, they will be heading. Chief's children. Huh, lion himself. Um, Ikoko, please. My husband needs rest. Honey? Can we go back to the room? Let me help you. Ujian, you should have given her more of that than this. You see this woman? Don't worry, my brother is coming. You'll be crucified, dear. The lion himself. The lion of Africa. Chief. Uh, no. What level of battering is this? What is this? This woman has always been cheating on her husband. On her husband. But today, it was different. She ran out of luck and she was caught. Red hand. Red hand. That's why we're here. Yes. And that's warranted this kind of uh, inhuman treatment. Uchenna. How would you allow them to make this kind of punishment on your own wife? Uncle, this woman has no regard for our, for our marriage. Even, even the tradition of the land. Yes. And uh, according to the tradition of our land, which you know very well, she is supposed to face the consequences of her action. And um, hold on a moment. Um, I do go. What do you have to say about this? I know the consequences of my action. But when a woman is single in the marriage, she finds herself. Her husband will help her. It's allowed that she begins to act like those who is not married. I don't understand. Uncle, this woman has nothing to say. And again, and, uh, and according to our tradition again that you are aware of, she is not supposed to say a word. Say what? Rather, she should go straight to serve the punishment allotted for such crime. Um, DK, but I've decided to hear her out. Hey. Yes. Tradition or not tradition? Gone are those days when people are made to suffer for something they would have spoken their way out of. Careful. But that is not our tradition, no. Do I care? I don't care. These traditions were made by man and not the other way around. So it can also be amended. Adugo, please speak. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. My husband beat me, that no cost. I have seven children with him. He doesn't lift his fingers off to take care of us. Me and my children, we used to cut on people's farm before we eat. Those who are kids me have been sleeping with are those who are trying to show me here in one way or the other. 
Um, have you all heard her? Uh, Bunjamazi, did you also hear what she said? Mm. You heard her? Mm. Those that help her, in which way? Those that help her when Uchenna is there. Mm. Why will she allow someone to visit a local government when the chairman of the local government has not been impeached? Why will she make that, that st the statement? In fact, by law, this woman is an imperialist. Makawai Oban and Eri Imperial Aligbo is an imperial. It's uh, as simple as that. Uh, it's okay, Koko. Uh, I think otherwise. Eh? Mm? Um, um, Adugo, it is said that you are caught with Andaman today. How did it happen? It is true, Chief. I did it. I did it for my children because it only take care of me and my children. Um, you, you've all heard her. Um, do you still wish to make her face a consequence? Do you still wish to take her to the Igwe? You've heard her. Um, I will not be here as a Kajana of this community and watch something happen. It has been said that a man does not stay at home while the good delivers unattended. I will not do that. Uh, I will not sit here and watch this woman suffer such consequences. Because what does the tradition say about the husband who did not contribute to his own quarter? They would have averted this problem instead of making her face the financial consequences. Um, I think we should not allow her face the consequences. Uh, Uchenna, do you have uh, any plot of land in this community? Before asking this question, I, I think this woman has not made no point with the way she has been driving your sense and your psychological in the window store. You see, the, the, the tradition is clear on, on, on issues like this. Mm -hmm. eh? This woman should be allowed to, to face the consequences of what she has done. That is it's as simple as that. You know, we, because this woman, the way I'm looking at her, is capable of, you know, killing our brother, um, Uchenna. Um, eh? You see, if we do that, it will be a deterrent to those who is planning or even wishing to, to tell her line. It is a crystal clear. Very translucent and translucent. I disagree with you, Iko. I disagree with you. And what does the same tradition say about a man who pushed his wife to commit such crime? Um, just the same way we think this woman is guilty. Her husband is twice as guilty. Yes, and I am sure that is why most of you here are supporting the woman to be punished. Because that is what most of you do to her. To your wife. No, no, I am too learned. So, so I am um, Uchenna. Do you have any plot of land in this community? Yes, I, I, I do. I have um, some plots of land, three in different parts of this village. One before the Ogene River, yes. then the other one at a, a, a village town hall. Yes. Then the other massive um, uh, uh, hectares near the the boundary. The next community. Yes, yes. yes. Um, we know it. In the Ujuko. Mm -hmm. Do you know where this lands are situated? Ha, we know where this lands are situated. No, the other one at the, the river, oh, no. the river bank. As the Akajana of this community, mm -hmm. I will make sure I personally supervise the process of sale of this land and the proceeds will be used to take care of your family. What I'm saying is that this woman is a very innuent uh, in, in a, a particular form to dis, 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 dis your, your, your spirit and your, your, what, your heart. Whatever you go, go, I am done with this conversation. Just like that. Yes. from the man. When the chips are out, we will separate the boys from the man. He doesn't know that I'm like a spirit that moves. And when I move, <laughs> it will be a public announcement. There's no problem. 
There is this like a relay. The whole thing is like a relay race. Onye Bacha, I will give him the wrong cup this time around. I will make sure that he drinks from the wrong cup. There's no problem. Mwabi Koku. Mirina Mencha Wolf. Mona Bra. I must tell him the reason I am nicknamed Ipokenwama in Hindu Fire as I We will settle it. Jabans mm -hmm. insulted you before everyone as usual, I am sure. If you had insulted me before everyone as usual, it would have been so preferable and normal. Jabans they belittled all my opinions while I was there with him and made me look like a very stupid animal before everyone. He belittled me, I was twice the size of an ant. Just because he is on money. And he thinks he can always have his way at any given moment. Hmm. <laughs> he hey. brought you down to that level. <laughs> but my husband, you know you are the one bringing all these insults upon yourself. Let nobody insult me vertically again. Why? What, what, what do you mean by saying that? What do you mean by saying that? But you told me you would stop going to that house. That was what you said. Don't worry. Njamaza insulted me. He insulted the living dead light out of me. He was there using his psycho speed. And I was sitting quietly watching him. He thinks that I am dumb. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there is something we call psycho speed and psycho mode. The things that the brains can do and the ones that the hands can do. I will unplug him. I have the right size of spanner for him. By the time I turned it anti-clockwise, he would have been flat. And he will do it again. Yes, he will insult you again and again. The earlier you start listening to me, the better for you and everyone in this house. I was busy inside before your hysterical voice dragged me out. You were busy inside when my hysterical voice dragged you outside. There's no problem. It's an apparent problem. Historically, tell my daughter that her father is famished. I need water. But when the chips are down, we will separate the boys from the men. There's no problem. It is a cosmic arrangement. When the chips are down, the men will be different from the boys. Another person that I am going to plug out of the way, like a rotten kareka papaya, is that useless idiot called the family doctor. Dr. Cletus. Exactly that idiot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Papa. What did he do again? Or is it because of what happened over three months ago? You should forget about that thing, please. My daughter, I will not forget that thing like you have referred to. These people made me wet aimlessly simply because I want to see my brother. They refused me. Eh? I had to push my way in because they are having tete a tete with Mirabe, right? And when I pushed my way in, just like someone who had seen uh, Ijele in, in, in the market square, they kept mute. And they were waiting until I leave before they will start their discussion or they will resume their discussion in private. In private? Of course. So what could it be that they could not tell Chief in your presence? I don't know. I strongly, I, don't know. I strongly think they are hiding something. That doctor is hiding something. Yes! They are hiding something. So now, they could not even say it, even before Chief's children. I said that everybody were kept waiting until I pulled my inner strings and pushed my way in. Um, Papa, you are an intelligent man. Whatever it is you want to find out, you have your way of finding it out. So I trust you. Whatever it is they are hiding, wherever they feel they can hide it, I believe you will find it out. You will bring it out and know what they are hiding. I am enthused. This is my daughter. I am a pathfinder. You see, in all their secret plants are all living in trenches. Like, like the story of the Magi, the journey of the Magi. By the time I step in, I will change the narratives. Mm -hmm. 
Hmm? That doctor is definitely hiding something. It's okay. He is hiding something. It's huh? okay. I've watched you for the past days, weeks, perhaps months. What troubles you? I am not troubled. There is something my mind is trying to wrap. Oh. Well, you, you share all your thoughts and worries with me. How come you do not do so about this one? That is because it does not concern you. You, you sound cold and your, your response does thing. It's unusual. What my mind is trying to comprehend is twice as unusual. Excuse me. Is wrong with that? I, I'm, I'm concerned. I don't understand. How do you mean? Mom, what do you mean? How do I mean? Do you know exactly what I am talking about? Dad has been keeping to himself for some time now. He's been isolating himself from every other person. I, I think I have an idea of what the problem is. I think it has to do with... Don't, 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 don't worry, I, I understand. Yes. However, he has refused to talk about it with me. He has been avoiding me. I don't know why. No more to me do. How do we help him? What, what what exactly is wrong? I wouldn't know if he's not ready to talk about it. I really don't know. Perhaps I I have to speak to father. But I won't lie, I've, I've noticed that too, but I haven't really paid much attention to it. Men have missed the jovial, playful and ever-present father he used to be. Well, father is uh, very wise and astute, you know. He has, he has heart for his people and everyone knows that. We have seen him even as kids, surmounting more turbulent times than this. You know, 
I discovered he began to have this mood swing after the private meeting he had with Dr. Cletus. I could swear with my life that Dr. Cletus must have told him something that made him be the way he is right now. This is not him at all. Something is definitely wrong. But Chief, your first son is a bit worried about your present uh, behavior. He confronted me a couple of times. Um, me and my first son, uh, Doobie. Yes. Uh, Doobie is uh, very articulate, just like me. Mm. And um, he knows when things are really going wrong. And he's also this kind of person that uh, will always be patient to watch things to the very end. Yes. And I'm sure the reason he hasn't asked me mm. is that uh, he might think I'm supposed to tell him something or not these days. Yes, yes. And that brings me to the current question. You mean if I intend to um, tell them? Exactly. Do you intend to tell them? Uh, no. No, for now, Dr. Cletus. Uh, but um, even if I would do that, not now. Why, Chief? You've always had the tenacity to do whatever I want to do. <laughs> Um, doctor, people think I'm a superman, mm -hmm. but I am not. <laughs> As it stands, um, I don't have the mental and psychological strength. Mm -hmm. uh, if not, I might crush in the process. So what do we do? Uh, doctor, maybe you still repeat the process and uh, give it more variables and see. If it comes out the same way, I don't have any other choice than to... Uh, Make it open to people. Don't you think um, that might be a bit risky? Or, or do you not think the earlier the better? Um, I think I, I would do it at my own time. If you say so, Chief. Okay. But, um. Uh, 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 Chief. Uh, there is something that has been bugging my mind and I've, I've not seen it in quite a long time. And, but I'm still waiting for uh, an aesthetic state of mind to communicate this with you. And uh, I think this is the right time. Um, <coughs> Ikoko. Uh, uh, yes, yes. What could that be? Oh. <laughs> um, this is just a dual affair, though. <laughs> it's a dual affair. Dual affair? Yes, in two parallel aesthetics. Two parallel aesthetics. Okay. Please go ahead and tell me. Oh, yes. Um, Jamazo, without missing words, I think that your sense of um, judgment has become uh, too acoustic and um, a cake, or so it seems, uh, yes. Um, but you've never for once appreciated me as a brother. Oh, no, sometimes, you know, I have to do this so that people will not think that we have a master of our arsenal to attack the tradition of the people. You know, sometimes I use that to convince the people and confuse them. <laughs> but must you always Defend me by fighting me in public? Oh, it is what we call the methodological process. You know how these things work. You're educated too. <laughs> uh, Ikoko, cool. uh, yes. but it is not yet clear to me. Oh, relax. <laughs> I know one day you begin to appreciate <laughs> and then begin to you know, bombard me with a lot of honorarium. <laughs> Well, that's by the way. Okay, okay. There is something you said you want to mention to me. Oh, no, 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 Jamanze. Not to mention something we must discuss. It is a must, as a matter of fact. I'm all yet. All right. You see, this um, uh, jaundice-looking uh, 
domestic staff, in the guise of a medical doctor, uh, that uh, scarecrow looking guy is something I want us to discuss because his activities in this atmosphere of my brother's house, and yet the owner of the house, more or less, uh, is still not, you know, in the comprehension, you know, avenue of his activities here. It's that thing that I said uh, must, uh, you know, come into 101 to have uh, a tete-a-tete of his activities in this house, and there is still something more to say about him. Um, uh, yes. Ikoko, you've not really made any point. What uh, did that young man do? Uh, uh, you see, that man, uh, the doctor, is still finding it difficult to call him one. He has given me uh, an sort of a first class order. And all you do, Jamaze, is to sit back and keep mute. And because of my, you know, the way of considering things, I have considered your state of health and decided not to attack him with my vocal artillery. But I still want to tell you one thing. I will not give him such chance again. That green ground will not come again. Any other day, he raises his filthy tongue, you know, to project something I don't like, I will. Not only use my verbal capacity, I also use my strength and throw a fist. <laughs> I am also a black belt, I don't you know. Um, Ikoku, that's okay. Um, okay. That's okay. All right. Um, Dr. Kletos. Kletos is not just my domestic staff. He's a qualified doctor. He's a professional. That reminds me. Don't call him that name. No, 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 no. Jamal, on top of all these insults he has weathered on me, I, I still want to, you know, make it known to you that your uh, psychological process and the total makeup is reflecting on your face. And that begs to say some question. What is going on in this atmospheric condition of our family? Uh, 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 why do you think what Dr. Kletus told me has something to do with my mood? It has nothing to do with my no, mood. No, 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 no. It, it is as loud as the trumpet. It has everything to do with it. Uh, uh, the world is watching. There is thunder in the sky. People are listening, you know, to the vibrative sound of the ocean. Yes. Uh, uh, don't you think so? It is okay. Um, Ikoko. Uh, yes. Let us eat granite. Uh, granite? Yes. I forget about that. There's nothing wrong. Well, Chief, uh, do accept my sincere apologies for showing up slightly behind schedule. Not intentional, though. That's all right. Thank you. And um, you go ahead and tell us where we are guided. Um, well, we repeated the process the way you suggested. We also gave it different um, variables. Just like the way you suggested too. Um, Chief, I'm, I'm afraid. The results all came out the same. Um, Dr. Cletus, with all due yes, respect, what result are you talking about? Um, Dr. Cletus, please, I want to ask. Is this meeting for only you and my father, or for all of us? Because if it's for all of us, then you may have to speak in a language that we all will understand. He may not have to speak in the language that we all will understand. He must speak in the language that we will understand. You see why I'm always skeptical with this your cognitive content and mendacious analysis? Have you seen it? Look, I've always suggested... Look, is that time you stop being garrulous, garrulous here? That's all the problem. This is the problem I have with you all the time. Just always being skeptical and unreasonable. Mm -hmm. I've always said this young man has a strict mentality. Okay. What is wrong with you? It's all right. Ikoku. Ikoku, you will not order the doctor. Eh? Allow him to speak. But that is clearly not making sense. Yes. Duby, I was still speaking. Mm. Sorry. Sorry. Um, you should all keep quiet and allow the doctor to speak. He has my permission. Dr. Cletus, please go on. Well, Chief, that's all for me. That's all. <laughs> I don't understand. What's going on here? Are you sure of the result you got? 100%. That's all right. 
So why are we part of this? I don't understand. I, exactly. I clearly don't understand what you people are talking about. I took you. Thank you so much. You can leave me now. Very well. Excuse me. Uh, what, what did we hear? Look, what exactly did you understand? Did you understand anything? Uh, did you understand anything? What was going on? Did, did you? Control yourself. One name. Mela ya tempe. Onye kibo. You've not touched your food. And you look worried. You've not said anything since you got back from your brother's house. And I, what did Dr. Cletus tell Chief? I didn't understand what that useless idiot said. How do you mean? Could you imagine that that escalator had everybody seated, like waiting for Godot that never came? And finally, when that idiot showed up, he began to talk. So what did he say? He told Chief that uh, the process was repeated and was given uh, different variables. And when the result came out, it is the same thing. What result? I don't understand. Exactly how everyone seated there felt when he began to talk. Uh -uh. If Chief knows he wants to finalize his private discussion with Dr. Clayton, why did he have to invite everyone to be present? Well, what, what does my brother do? He's just to insult me. He holds out a sword that weighs 500 kg. And the next thing is he throws it at me. And I will wedge it and smile. Just because he's my brother. This insult, that's what he's good at. Well, no problem. There's no problem. This is strange, though. It further justifies what I said the other day. That Dr. Cletus and Chief are up to something. And I will find out. Mm. Nine, nah, please. Let me advise you. Do all you could and find out what it is. Who knows, it might be for our own favor. But do not get into trouble. I am begging you. You know how difficult it was for us to get out of this straw the other time. Calm down your nerves. I will tell Njamanze that there is reason I was nicknamed Ipokunwama in Indufa, America. Please. Though he's my brother, but I will handle him. Okay. I will fix him. Please. Don't get into trouble. Hmm? I said I will fix him. It's all right. Don't you uh, understand, please Grandma? Please eat your food. Eat your food. Eat your food. What could be so daring to seize the appetite of the lion himself? Dad. The entire forest would only be left in outer desolation and void without the presence of the king of the forest. Um, well, the lioness has lost her pride in the presence of her subjects. And she will continue to do so if her husband 
Do not attempt to have security. We used to have a father whose eyes never closed in sleep because they kept watch over us. But now, more than ever before, we feel as though we are without a king and without a shield. Yes, Dad. Father, what is the problem? Call me father. Father. Why? Because the Lord is about to change. I am still struggling to be ready for what is about to come to us. But father, what are you talking about? The doctor said you are okay. He said you are fine now. It is far from my health. Father, you're getting me all confused. What is happening? Are you okay? First, you are isolating yourself from everyone, and then you, you, you're saying all this. Daddy, your silence is killing us. What is happening? What's, what's really going on? Dad. Cletus. Madam. Tell me everything you told my husband. I don't understand. Don't try to play dumb with me. You ran a test on my husband. Which test? What results did you give him? Ever since you had your secret meeting with him, he's not been himself. What is going on between you and my husband? I need to know. Oh, madam, slow down. It's not that deep. Then start talking. 
I seriously don't understand what you're talking about, madam. Do you think I invited you over here for a jamboree? Madam, if this was why you invited me here, I'm sorry, I will have to leave now. You will not step an inch from this car until you tell me exactly what you told my husband. Madam, if you think you've done something wrong, that chief is confiding in me against you, why, why don't you confront him? Dr. Cletus, he is not talking to me. Please take it that there's nothing wrong. So don't, nothing don't wrong. just pull that pretense on me. Don't pull the pretense. Look, madam, I, I'll have to leave now. I, I do not want people spying on us in the middle of the road, please. Dr. Cletus, I command you to speak. Look, madam, you can't command me. I have a philosophy. What nonsense philosophy? I take all this from you, only within chief's reach. God, what nonsense is this supposed to mean? Sorry, I'm too late now. Cletus. Cletus. Something stupid to you. Please. I, you. I am begging you, I swear with everything I hold there. If there's something that's supposed to exist between us, it's supposed to be trust. You need to trust me on this. I don't know. You don't know what? I don't know. I said tell me the truth. When I tell me the truth, I'll do something stupid to you. Father. Don't call me father. Don't! Mom, what's going on here? Ask this woman. Ask her! You. Dad? Mommy, what's going on? Mom. 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 